Hey, what's up you guys? It's Forge here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review and today we are on Thermal Expansion Part 8 and today we're going to be looking at the dynamos and the fuels for them. So yeah, as always if you guys do enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first guy we have is the Magmatic Dynamo and this guy is made with an Invar gear, two ingot Invar ingots, a redstone dust, two iron ingots and a redstone transmission coil. You're going to need a lot of these for all of these dynamos and this guy basically generates RF using hot liquid so if we go into uses it can either use lava or blazing pyruthium basically and that's what this guy does and it depends on how much energy it generates depending on the fuel so lava is 120,000 RF and blazing pyruthium is 2 million. The next one we have is the compression dynamo and this requires fu fluid fuel and a coolant things like well we'll get into the fuels later on things like um, refined fuel, seed oil etc and you know like a coolant like water or gel cryothium and the power generation will vary depending on the fuel and the coolant and this guy is crafted with a tin gear two tin ingots a redstone dust two iron ingots and a redstone transmission coil the next one we have is the reactant dynamo and this guy is made with a lead gear two lead ingots a redstone dust two iron ingots and a redstone transmission coil and this guy basically uses a fluid fuel and a solid reactant so things like destabilized redstone energized glowstone cryothium blaze powder sugar etc we'll get into all of them later on and again the power generation depends on the fluids and the uh, reactants so that's that and then next we have the innovation dynamo and that this extracts flux from various objects so things that hold a charge or like redstone you can use to power it, or you can use the capacitors and all sorts of things that hold energy within them. And this guy's made with an electrum gear, two electrum ingots, a redstone dust, two iron ingots, and a redstone transmission coil. And the final dynamo we have is the Nusomatic dynamo, and this essentially uses currency, and we'll get more into that uh, later, but I showed you how to make coins um, in a previous video, so you guys will have to check out that part for that bit. But this is crafted with a Constantan gear, two Constantan ingots, a redstone dust, two iron ingots, and a redstone transmission coil. Okay guys, so over here I have a good amount of the fuels and stuff that most of these guys use. Obviously for the steam dynamo, it's all things that are burnable. I haven't got wood in here and stuff though. The magmatic dynamo, the only two things it uses is lava and blazing pyrothium. The compression dynamo uses creosote and tree oil, and also refined fuel, liquefied coal, crude oil, naphtha, seed oil, and grassoline. And the reactant dynamo take, can take the solids it can take are sugar, blaze powder, pyrothium dust, netherwort, cryothium, erothium, trothium, gunpowder, and gas tears. And the fluids are gelid cryothium, energized glowstone, destabilized redstone, blazing pyrothium, zephyrium, erothium, and tectonic petrothium. And then the innovation dynamo takes redstone or redstone blocks and anything that can hold RF charge. And then the nusomatic dynamo takes any type of coin basically. Okay guys, now we're going to move on to the augments for the dynamos. And the first augment we have is the auxiliary transmission coil. And this is for all of the dynamos basically. And it basically increases the power generation, but it also uses the fuels up a lot quicker. This is crafted with the redstone transmission coil and four silver ingots. And if we grab one of the, some of these guys and head over to the dynamos, I'll show you the speed difference. So we've seen the steam dynamo before and this guy requires water and a fuel. So like so and this guy will start producing also we have to upgrade these so we need the conversion kits obviously we also covered that last time so if we come into here then and throw this in you'll notice this guy can hold a lot more rf and is also eating through coal a lot lot quicker okay guys the next thing we have is the fuel catalyzer and this is made with a conductance coil and four lead ingots and this basically increases the fuel efficiency so they produce more rf per fuel so normally lava would only produce about it would produce 120,000 RF per tick. So if we added some of this in, it would increase that and you can also add more of that and you'll notice we will eventually start to charge up and also it's full now. So yeah, basically that's what it does. It increases the amount of RF the dynamo can produce per millibucket. Okay guys, the next guy we have is the augment transmission coil ducting. 
This basically allows you to insert and extract through the coil. So the this bit here, the top bit here, as you can see, as you normally can't input and output items and fluids through there. But with this upgrade, you can, and it is made with a copper ingot and four lead nuggets. So as you can see here, if I stick that in there, normally you cannot do that. But now I can actually input through this hopper through the coil. Okay, guys, the next guy we have is the Augment Excitation Field Limiter, and this prevents RF loss due to flux coil saturation. This guy is crafted with an Electrum ingot and four lead nuggets. And essentially what this guy does is it lowers the minimum output uh, power output of the dynamo to zero. So when an active dynamo, dynamo normally can't emit energy, it generates, it will keep working at its minimum power output. And any more redstone flux that is generated basically is lost. So this guy essentially prevents energy loss. And the next guy we have is the Augment Boiler Conversion, and this is a output specialization, and this converts an applicable dynamo to a steam boiler. So the applicable dynamos here are a compression dynamo, a steam dynamo, and a magmatic dynamo. And this is crafted with a bucket, two copper plates, an iron gear, and glass. And essentially, this guy turns the dynamo into a steam generator. So for example, if we come over to this steam dynamo here and throw in some of these, well, one of those, it will actually not produce any RF anymore. It will just start producing steam. And this steam is actually useful in the augment turbine conversion. This basically increases the power generation, but steam must be provided to the dynamo. This guy is crafted with a redstone conductance coil, an iron gear, an iron ingot, and two copper plates. So if we come into this steam dynamo up here now, and we throw in a turbine conversion, then you'll notice this guy now fills up with steam instead of water. And then it will actually start producing RF using just steam which is really really cool and really nice oh and this guy's only for the steam dynamo the next guy we have is for the magmatic dynamo and this is the in isentropic reservoir and this basically increases the power generation and efficiency but a coolant is required and this requires a redstone conductance coil two invar plates a cryothium dust and a signalum gear so if we come in here and we throw in one of these guys now we need some form of coolant so if we go ahead and throw in some water in here now this guy will actually now produce more energy and it will be more efficient but it will actually use water as well which is kind of a small price to pay to produce more energy the next guy we have is for the compression dynamo and this is the closed loop cooling which basically means the coolant is no longer consumed during operation but you must have some coolant in the dynamo anyway and this is crafted with two tin plates a redstone conductance coil a cryothium dust and an invar gear so if we stick water in here as you can see it's actually going to use it whilst it's reducing energy Energy. whilst it's producing energy like so so it's going to start using the water if we take one of these guys out though and put in a closed loop cooling you'll notice the coolant doesn't actually ever get used when we are producing energy which is really really nice the next guy we have is the augment ignition plugs and this basically allows increases the power generation and efficiency but only refined you fuel can actually be used then in the compression dynamo and this is for the compression dynamo and this guy is crafted with a redstone conductance coil two copper plates a pyrothium dust and a signalum gear so if we come on over into this guy and we throw in these guys instead and we throw in one of these guys instead they do not work with the closed loop cooling apparently but we can throw that guy in and he will actually start producing more rf than before because it is using refined fuel the next guy we have again is for the compression dynamo and this greatly increases power generation efficiently but only can use gasoline so it's the same thing as the previous one just with gasoline instead and this uses a redstone conductance coil two constantan plates an erothium dust and a bronze gear and then we have the augment elemental catalyzer this guy is crafted with a redstone conductance coil two lead plates an erothium dust and a signalum gear and this guy does the same as the previous two but only with elemental reactions so that's with things that are made from the dust so like the pyrothium the cryothium the erothium and the petrothium using the fluid forms and the solid forms and only specific things can mix the next guy we have is the augment disjunctive extraction and this is for the innovation dynamo and it allows for enchanted items to be used as fuel and increases power generation and efficiency uh, and enchanted only enchanted items can be used when this is in and the items are also destroyed in the process so don't put your enchanted diamond pick in so this guy is crafted with a redstone conductance coil two gold plates a lapis lazuli and a signalum gear so if we head into here and throw one of these guys in now he can hold a lot more energy in him and we can actually start throwing sharpness books in and th they will use these guys to produce energy or any type of enchanted item basically 
And the final augment we have is the Augment Lapidary Calibration, and this is for the new somatic dynamo, and this allows for various gemstones uh, to be used as fuel, and only gemstones can now be used instead of coins. So this guy's crafted with two electron plates, a redstone conductance coil, a signalum gear, and an emerald, and things like quartz, emeralds, diamonds, lapis, and prismarine can be used to create power, which is actually kind of cool. So now I'm going to show you how to obtain some of the fuels for these guys. So so I've shown you how to get these two in the previous videos, but uh, I'll show you how to get all of these different fuels now. I'm going to get into that now. So the first thing we have is the liquefied coal, and this is actually kind of very easy to get. You just stick pulverized coal in a magma crucible, and it will create liquefied coal, uh, like so. So one pulverized coal will give you 100 mil buckets of liquefied coal. The next thing we have is the crude oil bucket and this can be got in a few ways. You, you can find these oil ores in the ground and they will give you this bitumen or you can find oil spills in the ground as well and pump that up if you have a mod that allows you to do that or you can and you can put this bitumen then again into the magma crucible and that will get you 250 millibuckets of crude oil or you can put the oil shales into the magma crucible and get 1000 millibuckets of crude oil. Same with the oil sand. Then to get this nap we're going to use the fractionating still which is one of its many uses and this guy basically allows you to turn liquefied coal or crude oil into tar and naphtha like so. So there's a 50% chance with crude oil to get the tar as well as 200 mil buckets of crude oil will turn into 150 mil buckets of naphtha and liquefied coal 200 mil buckets will turn to 100 mil buckets of naphtha plus you have a 75% chance of tar. This naphtha can be used as a fuel or you can use it to convert to refined fuel and that's how you get the refined fuel within the fractionating still once again. So if we come into here you'll notice 150 mil buckets of naphtha turns into 100 mil buckets of refined fuel plus you have a 50% chance of sulfur and obviously using the reflux column basically turns this into a one-to-one -one thing. Now to get seed oil we are going to need a fluid transposer to get the seed oil bucket and essentially what you do is you put beetroot seeds or melon seeds any type of seed into the fluid transposer on the empty mode and it will give you seed oil and now we're going to need to make some of this pulp biomass this pulp biomass is made in the sawmill using all sorts of different organic things like potatoes, melons, pumpkins. So essentially what you're going to do is put them in a sawmill and it will give you pulp biomass. Then we're going to turn this pulped biomass into pulped bio blend by putting three pulp biomass with one sawdust and it'll give you four pulp bio blend. Then we can turn the pulp bio blend with the seed oil into rich biomass. And then all of these three things that we've just made can be turned into bio crude like a so so pulp bio blend will give you 100 mil buckets pulp biomass will give you 100 mil buckets as well rich bio blend will give you 150 mil buckets of bio crude so that's essentially what you can how you get bio crude bio crude isn't actually a fuel though it is actually used to make grassoline in the fractionating still once again so 200 mil buckets of bio crude will turn into 100 mil buckets of grassoline and that's how you get grassoline okay guys but yeah that is it for this video we have covered quite a bit today we have covered all the uh diet dynamos from thermal expansion, the augments for them, and also the fuels for the compression dynamo as well on how to get them. So I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you did find it useful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys for the next part next time. Bye bye.